So usually my first video of the year is a look at my most anticipated comics, but I'm not going to do that this time because, let's be honest, it's just going to be Power Rangers. Instead, since we're doing a lot of crazy changes here on the channel, I decided to go along with it and do something crazy and new. Now it's well known that I'm not exactly a fan of Man of Steel, and I'm not really looking forward to Batman vs Superman or the upcoming Suicide Squad movie. I've been very critical about the direction Warner Brothers and DC seems to be going with these movies, but I'm willing to put all that aside in the spirit of New Year and reconciliation. And that's all going to start today as I review the first piece of widely available merchandise for Batman vs Superman, the breakfast cereal. Maybe now DC will let me be a part of their holiday extravaganza. I mean, you asked every other comic YouTuber out there, and I am the voice of your fan trailer, so just saying. <laughs> Don't expect food reviews to be a regularly reoccurring thing. I just happened to see both Superman and Batman flavored cereals in my supermarket months before the movie's supposed to come out, so I figured I gotta give this a shot. Also, this is gonna be completely unscripted, so apologies if this seems very slipshod. We'll start with Superman since he was the original hero. Now, I gotta say, I kinda like what they did with the outfit. It's a close-up of his chest, but I don't know if you could see it here. They got a lot of details in the S. You can really see it looks very uh, Kryptonian in origin, not like, you know, the traditional comics where the costume looks Earth-made. This looks like it actually came from Krypton. I actually kinda like the way it looks. I'll put it up close so you can see. It's a caramel crunch flavored cereal. It's in the shape of Superman's uh, chest emblem. No S, obviously. Um, no colors from artificial sources, it's good. No artificial flavors, also good. And no high fructose corn syrup, so that means it's healthy. The back of the box is a little quiz. Um, Batman vs Superman trivia, I'm assuming. Um, I'll take this later and probably just get 100 on it because it's probably all shot the stuff. Doesn't look like they put the answers anywhere on the... Oh, no, here are the answers. Never mind. All right, I think that's enough analyzing the box. Let's just pop it open and see what we got. Sorry. It smells like caramel. Uh, this is what it actually looks like right there. You can barely see that. Let's give it a shot. That tasted like nothing. You're not supposed to have one piece of cereal, obviously. You're supposed to have a bunch. So let's just put it in a bowl, or in this case, my first order Stormtrooper mug, and just Go for it. Go all out. Go big or go home, right? All right. Let's do a spoonful. All right. A bunch of them, you can taste a little bit more of the caramel. Um, you know, I can't really think off the top of my head now any other, like, caramel-flavored... Uh, cereal. I'm thinking mostly honey, like, you know, golden grams or things like that. But it's not, it's not a bad cereal by any stretch of imagination. The thing is, there are certainly better tasting cereals out there. I would say this is definitely, though, a solid um, B, B minus cereal. It's good. It's not great. You know, it's not Apple Cinnamon Cheerios, which is the greatest cereal of all time. Uh, you can Google that. That's a fact. I just dumped a little of this back in there. So if someone were to ask me if I like the Superman cereal, I'd say, yeah. You know, if it's on sale, it's not going to hurt you. Or if you have kids who like Superman, it's not going to kill them. It doesn't taste like shit, basically. Now it's time to try Batman. And already, I'm a little concerned. Batman is my favorite hero, but this is chocolate strawberry flavored cereal. I don't like strawberry. This one also no colors from artificial sources, no artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup. So again, very healthy. Plus, strawberries got fruit. It does the same thing. A close up of his chest. You see the detail in the bat. I like that it's very detailed and it kind of looks like fabric. I, you know, the Batman suits of the past have always been like some sort of rubber. I like that they're going the fabric route with the suit. I just wish it wasn't so obviously the Frank Miller bat. On the back, another trivia contest. This time, who's your hero? Uh, I guess this is just, you know, they're asking you to pick a side, really. And go to Facebook.com slash Batman or Facebook.com slash Superman uh, to choose your allegiance. I'm fans of both, so I got you there. Alright, so let's open this. Rip the box. Both of these cereals expire in November, by the way, so these will probably sit here for a while. I just got a 
big whiff of strawberry right there. Oh, no, no. All right, so this is what one of the shapes looks like. It's definitely a bat. Um, yeah, one piece is already more flavorful than one piece of the Superman cereal. Maybe it's because it's strawberry as opposed to caramel. I don't know, but this is definitely a lot stronger in flavor and smell. The only thing left to do now is just try a whole bunch, see how it is in a group. All right, in a group, you get more of the chocolate flavor. The strawberry flavor is just like, it's there for a second and then like dissipates. It's not as overwhelming as that first stench or even really one on its own. All right, so it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's still probably like a B, B minus cereal. If you like strawberries, you might, you know, bump it up to a B, B plus, but Again, you know, just a fairly average cereal. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like 90% strawberry when it says chocolate first on the box. Now the movie is Batman vs. Superman. They're both in there. So let's see what happens if you mix the two. Oh yeah, now we're getting crazy. Superman in there. You gotta get a good mix. You don't want it to be too much one or the other. I think there's a lot more Batman in here than Superman, but whatever. It's how I live my life anyway. Oh, no. Hang on. All right, there we go. Hmm. No, it actually goes really well together. Maybe this was the plan all along. They want you to buy two and expect you to just mix them together. Maybe that's the whole marketing plan behind this movie. Two separate things that go, well, ah, I see what you're doing there. So really, Superman and Batman the Serial are a lot like Pokemon games. They're great on their own, but you gotta get the companion games to go together to get the full experience. Now, for being completely honest, my favorite of the two is the Superman Serial because, like I said, I don't particularly like strawberry. That being said, if you're gonna get one, just get them both and mix them together. This is clearly the way it was intended to be had. You know, I think that's really all I got to say on the cereal. They're decent cereals. They taste better together than they do separately. Um, yeah, you would not be disappointed getting these. They don't taste as sugary as cereal used to do, like in my time, um, back in the day when that was the thing to do, because everybody's got to make cereal healthy now. But, you know, regardless, if you see this in the supermarket, don't be afraid to get them. Just make sure you get both of them to combine them together. That's the way this was meant to be. Hope you guys enjoyed this crazy little experimental video. I'm not going to be reviewing cereal all the time, so don't worry about that. I passed Avengers cereal in the supermarket, but I wanted to keep this topical. That movie was last year. And I promise next week, back to the regular format, scripted stuff, yada, yada, yada. Till then, let me know down below or anywhere on the internet if you've had Batman vs. Superman cereal, what you thought of it. Do you like your cereal with milk? Do you like strawberries? Talk to me anywhere. I'm more than willing to hear your case for why strawberries are actually good. And as always, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, share this video with a friend. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. The voice of Batman is arguably one of his most iconic and important features. When people think of Batman, they think of how he talks almost as much as they do how he looks and what car he drives. And while I've been enjoying Justice League of America by Brian Hitch, my top pick is actually Black Canary by Brendan Fletcher and Annie Wu. I was really afraid this was going to try and ride the coattails of Hipster Batgirl. But this new punk rock version of Black Canary actually works really well. All the changes and new flourishes they added fit the character and her world. It all just flows perfectly. The problem is now i got to finish all this cereal so it doesn't go to waste in this cup. I'm actually on a diet. Well, I don't know if you know that or not. Like, it doesn't, you know, it's not easy keeping this physique. So this is probably murder for me right now. It doesn't help that I wasn't like keeping track of what I ate all through Christmas break. This, yeah, the things I do for this channel.